my gosh. It finally happened. The time has come. <clears throat> hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here, back with another mod overview for The Sims 4. And this time, we are showing off a toaster. Heck yeah, that's right. I'm doing a whole video about a toaster. <laughs> because I have talked about in the past about how I really want toasters in The Sims. They are a staple in my household. And I find it really strange that The Sims has been around for over 20 years and we still don't have a toaster. <laughs> what? So, Necrodog has stepped in and yeah, he's made this toaster and it is actually functional. So, first let's go into build mode. I am using the Bjergsons since, um, since their kitchen is really big. I did use this for the Granny's Cookbook mod a few months ago. But it's easy to just be like, TOAST! <laughs> just type that in the search bar, you can find it pretty quickly. Oh wait, hold on. <laughs> that's what, that's the clutter toaster that I have. Wrong one. Uh, <laughs> there it is. A toaster. A functional toaster by Necrodog. And it costs 70 simoleons. So that that's how you know that you found the right one. And it'll go through all the swatches. It just get a little like... I haven't tested this with Kitchen Islands yet. Anyways, just to show off the different colors, we got red, oh, and then we got black, blue, green, yellow, and pink, so decent range of colors. It's mainly just like the front, but I guess that's what I would expect out of a toaster. I wouldn't expect the entire toaster to be red. That could potentially be an eyesore, I suppose. But, yep, there we go. So, let's use Clara here. And actually, she already was hungry. I didn't even use the UI Cheats mod to drag down her hunger motive or anything. So, uh, well, let's just try this first. Let's see if this uh, does the thing. So, I guess we'll go uh, in a clockwise fashion. <laughs> I'll just go through each and every one of these because I'm really, really excited to have this toaster in my game. <laughs> but... Yeah, you can see all the ones that we have. Oh yeah, this, this, we gotta start off with that avocado. So, here we go. Oh, okay, it is a routing issue. Alright, okay. It plays nicely over here, so this one should work. Alright, avocado, oh. take two, let's do this. Yes, alright. You're walking over to the toaster. You're taking, you're taking a whole, uh... <laughs> Not a pan, but like, um, a cutting board of toasters. <laughs> or not toasters. Of toast, I can't talk. And then the toast goes in. You wait a little bit. And oh yeah! <laughs> we got the toaster. Then it gets put on the plate. So that's pretty cool. The dish is in uh, Clara inventory. So let's, uh, let's eat this. I'm not sure how much hunger this will fill up. But we shall see. I don't expect it to be like a full meal. But, um... Oh, okay, it's already gone up quite a bit. It already went from not being in the red anymore to... Whoa! This is a filling avocado on toast. <laughs> well, actually, we already have avocado on toast in the game if you have Discover University, but... It's only available in the cafeteria, I'm pretty sure. And while speaking... <laughs> Speak of the devil, it shall appear. Um, yeah, so, uh, that's a little bit of annoying enough to get you my opinion, but, um, yeah, if you have that expansion pack, you'll have it in your game, but I'm pretty sure it is only available in the cafeteria, so, this is still at least, this is still a good thing to have. We have a mod overview to get through. Man, how hilarious would that be if this video did end up being 10 minutes? But, I mean, after that one time I did that, Hot Air Balloon, My Sims 4, Wish List episode, I guess really nothing's entirely off the table. But, I mean, this toast is is surely on the table, and that's a good thing, because it'd be a lot harder to just reach off the floor and, uh, and eat this toast. But, alright, there we go. That's the avocado. Uh, blackberry jam. Oh, wait, we should have them both use it, instead of just going one by one. Alright, so I'll have him uh, get the toast with butter. Yeah, it's a little awkward that you don't have the Sim putting the toast in the toaster initially, then they take it out. But otherwise, I would say this is pretty decent. This might end up being 
<laughs> this might actually end up being my favorite thing Necrodog has made so far. And Necrodog has made a lot of things. You've probably heard his name before. He's made a, a lot of different uh, functional things, including that Into Music fan-made stuff pack that I uh, did showcase on my channel somewhat recently. Or Yeah, I guess I can't really... Well, unless I had multiple toasters, but... Uh, well, I could just have to make another one since he won't eat this right away. That's actually kind of nice, I guess, that uh, it doesn't eat it right away, so you can still kind of choose toast with butter. Oh, yeah, and I'm pretty sure, because how I heard of this one was actually through my good friend uh, Fantasia. She did a, a video on this. I think she did have one point uh, where... Um, you can put these in the sack lunches. I guess you can try that out. Um, yeah, this is just plain toast, but... Oh, yeah, you can pack into the sack lunch, and then it does that, and then they put it out in the world for some reason instead of in their inventory. Well, I think I had a mod that makes it so it goes in their inventory instantly, but I can't remember who I got it from, but apparently I don't have it anymore. <laughs> All right, let's have him eat toast with butter, and he's probably gonna eat the... What? Oh no! Last exception. Why? Um. Wait, what if he sits there? I was just thinking he's gonna sit there and then eat it. Why is this happening? Inventory item. Hard stopping element. Or is it the sack lunch that's messing it up? I don't know. I'll have him try out another one. Um. Alright. Oh, so it still looks like regular toast as it's being put into the inventory, but then. Then you can really see what it looks like, truly, after you take it out of the inventory, so. Alright, that's what that one looks like, so. Let's go with toast with cream cheese. I don't think I've tried toast with cream cheese before. Not much of a cheese person, unless it's, like, Swiss cheese, or... I guess Montre Jack cheese is alright, but I have it in a sandwich. Oh, cool! Elsa's manners is in range to earn the good manners trait. Alright. Yeah, I guess it's a little odd. It doesn't show the what the toast really looks like when you take it out of the toaster like that. But maybe that's some sort of technical thing that can't really be worked around. But there we go. There's the toast with the cream cheese. Uh, let's try with Bjorn again. Let's try this hummus. Ooh, yes. I do like me some hummus. So let's try that if... Uh, okay, good. No routing issues this time. I haven't tried to eat it. Oh, okay, so maybe there is still a bug with having the toast in the sack lunch, but... Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. Whoa! Oh, it's from the Penny Pixels lot trade. <laughs> I don't use that lot trade very often, so I got very confused. Toast with Nutella. Oh, yes. Nutella. Nutella's also pretty good, in my opinion. Alright. Yeah, <laughs> this video is going to be over 10 minutes for a toaster. Heck yes. <laughs> Just gonna keep doing this. All right, there it is. Ooh, excellent quality and it's sparkling. Sparkly Nutella. All right, this lasts for 10 hours before it gets spoiled. Uh, all right, we just got a few left. Toast with peanut butter and banana. Ooh, that sounds interesting. I like those two things separately, but I don't think I've tried them together. Two things I do love separately and have tried together is chicken and waffles and, uh... Yeah, it's too weird for me. Sorry. <laughs> I prefer them separate. It's just like, yeah, not not every single thing Ooh. that uh, no. that you find good separately, I, at least in my opinion, necessarily works together. But there we go. Peanut butter banana. That actually does look kind of good. Huh. <laughs> All right. So then next one. Toast with refried beans. Interesting. I haven't really heard of this specific combination before. All right, tip that bread into the toaster. And we'll see what this one looks like. Yeah, I'll put this on speed too, just a little faster here. Uh, toast with fried beans. Whoop. Okay. Yeah, it does look like refried beans to me. And, all right, two more. Uh, whipped cream and berries. And toast with strawberry jam. I should have just queued it up like this in the first place. I don't know, there's some interactions in the game where you can't really do that for some odd reason. I can't remember which ones it was, but I remember trying it. It was like, oh, oh, it might have been um, 
Yeah, when you open those gifts that cats and dogs can bring to you, I'm pretty sure that was one of those examples. But okay, with the with the toaster, it's fine. Okay. But, oh yeah, the toast with whipped cream and berries. I remember seeing that one in Fantasia's video. She really liked this one. And yeah, I think that one looks <laughs> this is pretty cute. All right, so strawberry jam. That also sounds pretty darn good. Ooh, yeah. There we go. So one other thing of note before I end off this video is that they are available in the restaurant menus if you uh, if you set a custom menu if you happen to own the dine out game pack. So uh, I actually do have a breakfast restaurant in my game that I downloaded that I have in Newcrest. So I guess I could add some of them to that. And the difficulty is only one out of five. So uh, I guess I would be. A little concerned if it was more than one out of five difficulty, but yeah, that's good. I, I wasn't completely sure if there would be that restaurant compatibility in this specific case. Ooh, grades are up. Um, and actually, that's good timing, because let's see if Elsa can use... Oh, no. Oh, that's too bad kids can't use the toasters. Wasn't fully expecting that, but oh well. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, so... Any, any Simgers who may happen to be watching this, please put toasters in the game. I don't know how, but just just please do it somehow. Oh yeah, I remember a year or two ago I did propose a breakfast stuff pack. And I, I'm pretty sure I did put toasters in there. And I do remember coming up with this idea where you have a literal toast interaction. Where instead of toasting with drink glasses... You do it with toast, you just, just slap the bread against each other. <laughs> it's between two sips. It's like, yes, toast, toast, toast. And, um, yeah, I don't know, I just thought that'd be a silly uh, Sims-like thing to include whenever we do get toasters, hopefully, eventually. But, yeah, needless to say at this point, <laughs> especially considering I spent over ten minutes on this, I recommend this. I recommend this. If you want a toaster in your game and have more food to choose from, definitely go and give this a download. And of course I will leave the download link in the video description below. And be sure to subscribe if you want to keep up with my latest content from The Sims, Sock the Hedgehog, and more. So I will talk to you all later and have a great day. Thanks for watching. Yeah, toaster hunt, toaster hunt.